We're back again for another review of a trading card product. Uh, again, full disclosure, I did get this product for free. Uh, I did not pay for it. This, <laughs> yeah, it's got a face on it. Uh, this is a, a trading card binder by a company called, or a brand called Soup Eye. Not sure how well that's gonna show up there on camera. Doesn't wanna focus. But yep, there's the name of it right there. Uh, Soup AI <laughs> Binder. Uh, and of course it looks like it has a little face on it from a well-known uh, character of a very popular uh, card game and anime and video game. Uh, I, I don't uh, know if this is licensed or not. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that it probably isn't, but that doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, and of course this is the back, <laughs> the back side there. Um, I'm already seeing some stuff on this that is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's part of the design or if it was... Uh, just uh, some sort of damage. But let's open this up. And we'll, yeah, we'll go over it. And we'll see if this is uh, worth your money. Okay, so yeah, the part of the design, or I, I don't know if it's, I, it feels like it's part of the design, is you see these little white spots right here and these little blue spots, all these little nicks here. For a second, just kind of looking at it, like here, especially here on the front, it looks like, I almost thought that they were just, I don't know, like little gashes or little nicks in the material, but it's not. The material feels fine, but I guess, uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand where that's from. That's That just looks weird to me, because why would you have this design, but then have all these little marks and stuff on it? So, I don't know if this was an issue with the printing process that they had. Um, it is possible that it is just my particular sample that has these, uh, but look, as you see here, it has it on the sides, too. So, it's a little weird. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's intentional or not. I, I would think that it's not, because it actually takes away from the picture. So that's really strange. Uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, like I said, the company or the brand is called Soup I, but of course it says TCG Guard here. Maybe that's the name of the product itself. Um, but it is a little card binder. Um, let's go ahead and go over this thing, see, if, uh, see how the quality of it is. The stitching on the outside actually looks really, really good. Yeah, good stitching there. Let's take a look here. We also got our zipper. The zipper actually looks pretty good quality. Let's go ahead and open it up. If I'm not mistaken, this one carries 360 cards, I believe. Oh, this does not like to sit flat. Okay, it should sit flat, but I guess it doesn't. Okay, what's this? Thank you for being you. So glad I got Chew. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Yeah, there's the name right there. TCG Guard and Soup Eye. Okay. More fun at TC... Oh, wow, it's got a website there and everything. Okay, what's this? Lucky Scratcher? What is this Lucky Scratcher? This... Oh, look! We also got stickers! Okay. Well, there you go. See, uh, I wasn't gonna specifically name <laughs> the company that I uh, think they meant to license this from. Again, I don't know if it's licensed or not. I really don't. Um... But yeah, that kind of says it all. <laughs> if you didn't know before, this this makes it very obvious. So yeah, they give us some stickers. Uh, free gift TCG Guard. I guess this is the free gift uh, that all the people that buy this get. You get a little thing of stickers. And the stickers are actually pretty nice. Uh, you've got your Mewtwo, your Raichu, your Pikachu, Blastoise. <clears throat> looks like Bulbasaur, Squoidle, and of course uh, the famous Charizard. So yeah, we got some stickers. Uh, also, I guess a little sticker has your name on it. Put those aside. And it says it's a Lucky Scratcher. We'll put this Lucky Scratcher aside for now. Let's uh, take a look at the inside of the binder, though. And I'll look at the stitching as well. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna tug on this a little bit, make sure it's really in there. Stitching looks good there. Good there. I'll also comment on these, uh, on these card holders here. Stitching's good there. Let me take a quick look. Actually, yeah, stitching actually looks very good. Uh, so you get an A plus there. Looks like there is a little uh, internal clamp here, and you do have three rings. So very nice there, and there is stitching around this as well. So it looks like the stitching is what actually holds this in place. See, stitching looks good over there. Oh, we do have a little loose end there. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I'll pull on it. And, oh, it is coming loose. That's not a good sign, actually. You don't want a loose stitch like that that you can actually tug on 
that starts coming loose and starts pulling from the stitching because that could be a problem. Now that that sort of stuff does happen in production. It's not unusual, uh, but you generally don't really want to see it if you can help it because like I said, if it starts coming loose here, that means that the stitching all around is going to start coming loose. Uh, and then you're going to have a problem, especially in this case because it doesn't feel yeah, it doesn't feel like this inner three ring assembly here is glued down or anything. It feels like the only thing holding it in is that stitching. So if that stitching comes loose, uh, the binder is pretty much going to be ruined unless you can, you know, glue it back in yourself, which you really shouldn't have to do. Um, so a little, a, a little point off there for that. Looks like there's also some cardboard in there as well. Hmm. Okay, so that is a little bit of a concern. Uh, these pages, uh, hmm, let me take a look. So are they front and back? Let's have a look. Okay, so front, back, okay. And as far as, uh, this is a pretty, eh, it's, it's cheap plastic, but, I mean, most plastics these days are pretty cheap, but the question is, how cheap is it? Let's see, okay, so would these hold Pokemon cards unsleeved or sleeved? Let's grab some cards here and let's see what will happen. Oh, we got a dragon there. We'll put the dragon aside. Let's just see how these go in here. Alright, so let's put some basic energies in. So if this ruins my cards, I don't have to worry. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be unsleeved for Pokemon cards. Yeah, because, well, uh, um, let me see, could we potentially put a sleeved in there? Where's a sleeved one? Here, let me grab this. Can we actually fit a sleeved Pokemon card in here? The answer would be... Yes! Wow, okay, you actually can. It's a very, very snug fit, but it does fit. Can I actually fit on the back as well? Let's see. Again, very, very very snug but it does work I don't know if I'd necessarily be comfortable leaving it like this uh, two sleeved cards back to back like that because like I said it's very tight it's very very tight let me take this out I've got a few more here yeah I think I'd probably just do if I were doing sleeved cards I'd probably just do one side of this entire sleeve as it is and just leave it like that other than put them on the back here, because like I said, it, it, it just feels, it feels a little uncomfortable. And oh, wow, okay, also getting them out may be a little bit of a problem. Okay, come on. All right. Come on. Okay, yeah, this is what I was worried about. Getting these things out now is a, is a hassle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I cannot... Oh, wow, I really don't want to pull this out. I probably should have used cards that uh, weren't worth a dollar each. But yeah, as you can see, that's my concern. <laughs> is You don't want to put them in back-to-back -back like that with sleeves, because if you do, they're going to be a pain in the butt to get out. Um, now, with the regular one, let me see here. Can we get this one out a little bit easier? It's easier to get my fingers in there. Yeah, this one's definitely easier. So if you were to buy this and you were to want to use sleeved cards, definitely don't do back-to-back. -back. Um, do just a single, because if you do back-to-back, -back, it's going to be noticeably harder to get these cards out of here. Let me try one more time. If not, I've got some tweezers I can grab my inner sleeves with and try to... Yeah, I, I can't get a grip of it. Yeah, that is a bummer, and I don't want to tear up this plastic sleeve Wow, that really doesn't want to come out. Okay, well there we go. Now we know. Don't do that. <laughs> but it looks like if you do back-to-back -back with the regular cards, like this, you're probably fine. And yeah, you are. So yeah, don't do that. Okay. But the overall sleeves, they're pretty standard now that I've seen. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm a little old school, but older sleeves like these just used to feel higher quality. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, these feel fine. They'll probably do the job, uh, and as long as you don't abuse them, they'll probably be okay. Um, that is a lot of sleeves, though, and I'm kind of thinking, when you fill that sucker up with cards, that you're actually going to be able to close this. Hmm. Well, 
I mean, overall, the binder itself, fairly good quality. Like, I'm saying fairly and not good, because like I said, I did have this issue here with the stitching. A little worried about that. Uh, again, with these inner sleeves, they're fine. I won't say they're great, they're fine. They, they do the job. Uh, they're not pretty, but they do the job. And again, like I mentioned, uh, don't put two back-to-back -back sleeved cards in here or you're gonna have a hard time getting them out. You're gonna have to get some tweezers uh, to pull on the inner sleeve to get them to come out. But overall, um, fairly decent little product, I guess. Uh, like I said, I just have problems with this. That, that does, it just, again, this is, I don't know if it's part of the printing process that they messed up on. It just doesn't feel right or just doesn't look right. It looks so weird. So I got a problem with that and I got a problem with the stitching. Um, other than that, I guess it's fine. Now, uh, I gotta, I gotta address the one thing that I mentioned earlier in the video. What is this? What is this Lucky Scratcher card? I have no idea what this says. I'm guessing when you order this, everybody gets one of these. Let's see what this says here. Well, first off, what's this? Dear... Okay, it's just a card. Okay, what's this? Go for the scratch. 100% win rate. What is... what? Okay, uh, I don't have a coin near me. Um, hold on, I can get a coin. I have one over here. Give me a coin. Yeah, this will work. Okay. <laughs> it's a little weird here. It says go for the scratch. I'm going to scratch it on my table because if I scratch it on this, it's not going to work quite right. So let me see what this says here. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, it says, I know it didn't really come out on camera too well there, but it says first prize, get $40 off for all products on tcgcard.com. Okay, I guess that's their website. Um, and then of course there's a code there. I haven't scratched the code because who knows, maybe I want to buy some stuff from them, you never know. I I'm guessing that's for everybody. <laughs> Yeah, because what are the chances that I would get the first prize? Oh, but yeah, I'm guessing this is for everybody. So that's what that little scratcher card is. A um, little coupon off of some of their stuff. So I guess if you buy this and you like it, uh, you can just go directly to their website and, and buy more stuff from them. So there you go. So yeah, that is the uh, Soup Eye uh, TCG Guard uh, uh, mini binder. Uh, like I said, it's, it's perfectly acceptable for the most part. Like I said, my only concern, the inner stitching, um, I would say just take care of it, just watch it, and you'll probably be fine. Anyways, thanks for checking out the uh, video, guys. I really appreciate it. I will put an affiliate link down in the description for this particular product. So if you want to try it or if you want to, you know, give them a, give them a look, see if the, some, some of the other stuff that they may have for sale, you're welcome to do that. Again, I did get this item for free uh, in exchange for a, uh, you know, honest review. All my reviews are honest. So, uh... Yeah, again, do all that YouTuber stuff for me, the liking, the subscribing, and we'll do more videos like this. And again, thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.